presence is our throne of mercy program. You are welcome. Let us pray. Father Lord, we want to thank you for tonight. We bless you for how you're going to bless our lives through your word and prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit of the Most High God, we welcome you. Take over and let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Can you say believe in amen? We want to thank God again for tonight. And by the special grace of God, I want us to pray over our names. I wanted to ask that the Lord will give you a new name. Proverbs 22 verse 1 says that a, a, a good name is better to be chosen than, than riches and gold. And if you read Isaiah chapter 62, from verse 2 there, the Bible said that the Lord is going to give you a new name that will be mentioned by God himself. And I have to sing this with Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, where the Lord God himself mentioned the name that his son will bear. He said, a son is given unto us and his name shall be called Wonderful. And if you read that Matthew, when the angel came to Mary, he said, the son you will give birth to, you will call his name Jesus. So the Lord himself values our names. And he will give you a new name today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In verse 4 it says, and your name shall be called Ezeba, and your land will be called Bewila. I want to pray for you tonight, that by the name that is above every other name, that name that you bear, that is not yours, that thing that has given you a name, Different from what you have today, the Lord will change it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Let us talk to Almighty God. Lord, give me a new name. Shall we begin to pray in the name of Jesus? Lord, I need a new name. Father, give me a new name. That your mouth will mention. That's what the Bible says. Lord, give me a new name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Say a better amen. You see, uh, 2020 is a special year. There is no one that will remember 2020 and, no, and not remember coronavirus uh, a pandemic. And you can see that coronavirus has given 2020 another name. Let me say a, a subtitle now. Now I want to pray and cry out to Almighty God. You will say, Oh Lord, everything that has given me a, a, a name that is not my name, every name that is attached to my name that is not bringing glory to you, that Lord today by the blood of Jesus cancel it, shall we turn into prayers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That anything that is attached to your name, any name that is not from God, attached to your name, that problem has given unto you, that challenges has given you, I don't know, but that the Lord God himself will cancel it by his blood. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray to God. The Lord cancel it by your blood today. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Say a believing amen. Say a mighty amen. The word says in the last line of that verse 4, it says, for the Lord delight in you and your land shall be married. Lift up your right hand and cry out to Almighty God. The Lord Lord, let your countenance rest upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your countenance rest upon me in the name of Jesus. Begin to talk to God. Begin to talk to God. Begin to pray to him that Lord, remarry me. Remarry my land. Remarry my life. Remarry my business. That means that the Lord God should take a new, a new form, a new step over your life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed say a better amen and i pray for you today that the almighty god will rejoice over you in the name of jesus his power will rest upon you and he will cause you to excel in all your ways in the mighty name of jesus christ lastly talk to god he said you'll be a real diadem in his hands say lord Crown my efforts in the many part of this year with success in the name of Jesus Christ. Make me a royal diadem in your hands. Make me a special, a special son, a special daughter of yours. Even in this season, in the mighty name of Jesus, begin to talk to God. Begin to talk to God. Begin to pray to Him. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Say a better amen. And I want to pray for you in the name that is above every other name. The word of the Lord says that in the name of Jesus, every Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. That name is a powerful name. And so I pray for you in the name of Jesus today that everything, every name that has been given unto you, that ch challenges, that troubles that men have given unto you, that, has not, that is not bringing glory to God's name. Today, they are cancelled by the blood of Jesus in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Say a mighty amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. 
is the month of August and a month of new beginning. That song says, Oh, that man will praise the Lord. Oh, that man will praise the Lord. For his goodness and for his wonderful works. To the children of men. To the children of men. For his goodness and for his wonderful works. To the children of men. To the children of men. He has broken the gate of brass. And called the bars of iron asunder. He has broken the gates of brass. And called the bars of iron asunder. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to give thanks unto the Lord for his good and for his mercies that endure forever. And in this month of August, I want us to pray against the forces that scatters. The forces that scatters. I want to read from the book of Zechariah. Chapter 1, verse 18 to 21. It says, Then I lifted up, I up my eyes, and saw, and behold, four horns. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be these? And he said, Answer me, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. Then, I say, then said I, What come these to do? And he spoke, saying, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. But these are come to fray them, to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted up their own over the land of Judah to scatter it. I want you to know, brethren, that there are forces that scatters. You may not have been gathering things. Going through your education, you are gathering experiences. You are gathering your certificate. But at a point, some forces can come and scatter what you have gathered. Even as a farmer, you have planted, you have watered. And at the point of harvest, some forces can come and scatter that harvest. I want us to pray this evening and pray against those forces that, that scatter us. Here in this verse, we now saw four carpenters. What have they come to do? They have come to, to drive out those forces scattered in this month of august i pray for you every forces that is scattering your gathering they are scattered in the name of jesus let us open up our mouth and say every covenant that every person every man or woman that has proposed in their heart to scatter what i have gathered lord this this man to them lord let their power come to fall not let us begin to pray father in the name of jesus every man or woman that say he wants to scatter what I have gathered over the years. Every forces against my life, let them be scattered. Let them be scattered. Let them be dismantled. Every power that says he will not allow me to eat of what I have gathered, let them be dismantled in the name of Jesus. Let them be scattered in the name of Jesus. Let them be scattered in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I want to let you know that there are some people that the enemy has stationed to dismantle what you have been gathering. They will be looking at you. When you are toiling, they are looking at you. When you are struggling, they are looking at you. When it is time now for you to eat out of your labor, they want to scatter it. These forces needed to be come against. These forces needed the power of God to deal with them. I want to tell you, if, even... This last week, I got a message from someone and says, one of my friends just died. I said, how did he die? This is the first son of his, his father. And in, in June, the second son died too. What has happened to that man? The, their dad is still alive. That means there are some forces that have scattered what he had, he had labored for. Over the years, we're talking about grown-up adults. 50-year-old man, 48-year-old uh, man just died in the presence of their parents. So we are going to pray and tell the Lord, Lord, every plan of the enemy to scatter my labor, to scatter what I've gathered, Lord, come against them. Lord, fight my battles for me. And let us begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, every force um, that want to scatter my labor, every force uh, that want to scatter my, my gatherings, Lord, I scatter such forces in the name of Jesus. Wherever they are gathered, they are scattered in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Father, we thank you because I am the God that answers prayer. And unto you shall all flesh come. We come against every scattering forces. Everyone that says we will not eat out of our labor. And we scatter their powers now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your name, O God. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more. And no more Thanks for watching. You can connect with us online for service at Facebook forward slash CACVOMDCCHQ on Instagram at CACVOMDCCHQ and on YouTube at CACVOMDCCHQ You can also fellowship with us at Christ Apostolic Church Vineyard of Mercy District at number 45 stroke 47 Commercial Avenue Sabo Yaba Lagos telephone 0806349 8213 or 0902510 4, 6. God bless you.